I'm gonna show you guys the new right line. Well, it's new to me. The right line SUV tent. I looked it up in the garage or the driveway. Just something that I've been wanting to do and the weather's nice today. So I figured I'd plug it up and see how it all worked out. So I didn't put the stakes in the ground to spread the ends out in the bottom. But I have the windscreen down on the two sides. I have the door open on the other side. This is what it looks like. So you really could use the crossbars on the luggage rack right here. Um, you can see these aren't really attached. So you could stretch those out and hook them to the crossbars. That's really what you need to do. But um, the Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee, I have the bottom kind of going through the wheel to hold it down. You can see there. And then this strap here, I kind of have it wedged in in here in the trim. It allows you to still open the back doors up if you needed to. But that's what it looks like. I'm I'm impressed. I think it'll go, it'll work out well for me uh, for our camping. We're going to get a little foam mattress. I'm so done with air mattresses. They only last one trip and they get holes in them or whatever. I'm so done with them. So what I think I'm going to do is just get a memory foam mattress, even though I can't really stand sleeping on memory foam. You got to do what you got to do. I hate waking up in the morning when your, your butt and your hips are touching the floor because the air mattress let out air in the middle of the night. So done with it. I bought so many different ones throughout the years, but that's what it looks like. So we'll uh, fold the back seats down and put the mattress in the back so we can sleep there. And then uh, kids can sleep here or we can put our, our food in here so flies won't get to it, our luggage and so on and so forth, cooler. But uh, I don't have the seats folded down, but that's, that's the back end of it. And uh, if you wanted to, this here, you could uh, unravel it and it zips up this way so it completely closes in to make the SUV a separate room than the tent area. But you can see in here, it's got a little bit of a gap there from the outside. Nothing on the bottom. The bottom's pretty tight around. But uh, I think if you had the, see a gap there. I think if you had the crossbars that you hooked it to, it might make it a little tighter, but it ain't gonna be completely tight. But uh, yeah, so fold the seats down, sleep in there. Uh, what I would recommend if you guys do do this, is um, rolling these up nice like this. Um, kind of best to take two people, one on this side, one on the other side, and roll it up a little bit at a time. And then you can attach them in there with this piece here. This one here, I didn't do that because it was a lot longer and wider. My arms aren't that long. So this one here, I just uh, kind of scrunched it up and then attached it. But uh, good room in here. I mean, there's plenty of space. Um, and it's got a rain cover, that orange thing in there is a rain cover that goes over top. I didn't put it on yet, but I don't think I'm going to need it right now. But that's just kind of to show you what it looks like. So this is the Right Line Gear SUV tent on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Getting ready for the spring camping season. So we'll see how this works out. I want to show you guys too that the tent can be freestanding, not attached to the SUV you can just see you, un you zip up that side right there and that's what it looks like so if you needed to run up to the store in the vehicle or you need to take the vehicle out to do four-wheel drive trails hey you want to stop chewing on that idiot thank you silly boy no no uh, it's always something with him no sir you got a chew bone already stop There you go. So anyway, there's what it looks like whenever it's not attached to the vehicle. So it is possible. And then inside, it just gives you so much space still, even when it's not attached to the vehicle. Still quite a bit of space in there. Uh, I'm not sure the exact measurements. I'd say it's probably 10 by 10, probably, if I had to guess, something like that. So yeah, and then you could stand up in there I mean, the, the top is super high. I mean, go in there, I'll show you what it's like. I'm five foot 10. I'm turning the camera around, you can see. So 
So I'm five foot ten, and you can see all the space I have in here still. You can definitely stand up in here. Over here, it's a little less on the height, but right in the middle, it's fine. So, all right. So there it is. All right, guys. Have a good one.